Hello students, welcome to VTeach. Today, I would like to explain K-means algorithm. So, in this K-means algorithm, this is the prototype based clustering technique. Prototype based in the sense what some specific type of uh, clustering technique. So, it's create a one level partitioning of the data objects. There are a number of such techniques, but uh, two of the most prominent K-means and K-midoid. K-means defines a prototype in terms of a centroid and before going to that what we are uh, discussing here why the k means algorithm is used for clustering analysis it means it used for clustering what is the meaning of clustering i already told you what is the meaning of clustering it is a group of the things it is a group of things group of things like this we have an a 60 students are there 60 students in these 60 students are divided into different types of the groups group 1 group 2 group 3 and group 4 and here the in these 60 students are teached by the one teacher no it's not possible in this college of the students different branches are there in these branches different students are there this is the different i mean uh, verified by the different students like this we have to define the two types of the clusters in this k means that is what one is center cluster one is center cluster another one is what hierarchical cluster the meaning of center cluster in the sense what for example uh, take an amazon is the best example for us then what it is so this is the one cluster in this cluster, what is this cluster name? Cluster name is Amazon. In this Amazon, we have different types of the products are available here. So, that is a class and uh, mobiles and another one is kids. But these all the clusters are merging uh, are combined into the one single cluster that is called Amazon. And now take that next one is what is the hierarchical clustering so this is what center clustering this is represented as the center clustering and coming to the hierarchical clustering the hierarchical clustering we have to divide it into the number of for example i have to divide it in the number of electronic devices so based on the hierarchical clustering how to divide it the hierarchical clustering electronic devices are what for example tvs mobiles and refrigerators refrigerators and the three domains i have to divide it and now in the tvs also in the tvs also we have to divide it what does the companies we have to represent for example 32 inches tvs are there 42 inches there 55 inches are there in this 32 we have to divide it into the next one what is the company for example sony is there tcl is there and different samsung is there different types of the companies i have to segregate it here and the next one Mobiles also we have to divide it into the different types of the mobiles. That is, what are the different types of the mobiles? Standard mobiles are there, smart mobiles are there, advanced mobiles are there. Different types of the mobiles I, I have to segregate it. In this standard mobiles, I have to divide it into the different companies are there. Na? And in the uh, smart mobiles also different types of the companies are available. And coming to the refrigerators also, that is a 180 liters refrigerators are there. 215 liters there, 280 liters there, different types of the refrigerators are available in the hierarchical clustering. So, now each and every prototype we have to divide it in the hierarchical clustering. So, in now coming to this point, which is usually the mean of the group of points and is typically applied to the object's continuous n dimensional space. Continuous n dimensional space. In the, so, whatever I explained, these all the concepts are types of the clusters but coming to the k means the k midoid defines a prototype in terms of midoid which is the most representative point for the group of points most representative point in the sense what for example here the electronic devices is the most representative point or not so based on this electronic devices it simply says what it is a path we had to started from one node based on this node we have to traveled from this point to another point and now can be applied to a wide range of data since it requires a only proximity measure for pair of objects 
proximity measures it measures the whether it is yes or no the proximity ranges we have to find that in between of these objects while a centroid almost never corresponds to an actual data point a midoid by its definition must be an actual data point in case in the electronic devices you are not finding so where you are going to uh, search these electronic devices go to the amazon amazon is what it's a complete cluster in this complete cluster the electronic devices is a sub cluster and now in this section we will focus on solely a key means which is one of the oldest and most widely used clustering algorithm it's a oldest algorithm but it's most widely used algorithm is called k means algorithm and see what is the example so based on this k means how to execute the algorithm i can explain first of all the basic k means algorithm we can understand what is the basic things the k means clustering algorithm technique is very simple and we begin with the description of the basic algorithm so what is the description how we are how should i started the k means algorithm based on this theory then we first choose the k initial centroids that means what take a mean value take mean value so what is the mean value total number of values by n total number of values means what what is the total value by total number of values next where k is a user specified parameter yes we know that and then namely the number of clusters desired the number of cluster desired means what whatever the data objects we are taking that objects is divided into the desired user desired i mean user specified objects are there that all the objects are the desired one and then each point is then assigned to the closest to centroid whatever the point we are taking that each point is a closest to the centroid so and each collection of the points assigned i will show you how to implement it this example in the different types of the uh, objects we have to take in in the list of objects and how to apply the mean value and how to take the uh, how to take the mean value from the closest object i will show you and then the centroid of each cluster is then update the based on the points assigned to the cluster how many points you are assigned to this cluster and uh, what are the what are the points are closest to this uh, centroid we can define so we repeat this assignment and update the steps until no point changes of the cluster the say any two points are same this process will be stop and then equivalently until the centroids remain the same so k means is formally described as the algorithm one what is this algorithm see here select k points as the initial centroids repeat from form k clusters by assigning each point to its closest centroid for example now the k is equals to 2 i can take it here and next one different types of the recompute and recompute the centroid of each cluster recomputation process we have to done and next one is what until the centroids do not change because any two centroids is the common then we have to stop the process for example this is 12 and this is also 12 then we can stop the process and see this one in the first step shown of figure a points are assigned to the initial centroids what is the figure a here that is the iteration 1 this is the iteration 1 and i before going to explain this diagram i can show you the text example i mean uh, number take the numbers and i will show you the examples here how it is uh, created the number of steps like first of all take the example like s is equals to s is equals to 2 3 4 10 12 12 20 25 and 30 now the k value is what is 2 so this is the k k k clusters i have to repeat it now randomly take the value for the given items so these all are the items so randomly take any value now i can take the value of m1 so that is a mean one so what is the value first one four and the m2 i have to take it here what is the m2 that is a 12 so based on this mean value of uh, m1 and m2 we have to created the cluster 1 and cluster 2 what it is for cluster 1 that is 2 plus 3 plus 4 by 3 what it is the k1 value is 3 and next one what is the k2 how to find out the k2 that is 
what it is 10 comma 11 comma 12 comma 20 comma 25 comma 30 so this is the k2 so find out the mean of this k2 108 for example i calculated this values 108 by 6 what is this value 18 what is the mean one value is what mean one value is the 3 and the k2 i mean mean two value is what 18 so based on this value m1 is equals to 3 and m2 is equals to 18 so this is the mean one and mean two based on this mean values we had to generate we had to generate the clearest i mean uh, closest data objects we had to find out using the k means algorithm first of all k1 is equals to what 2 3 4 and what is the k4 and 10? 10 also closest one. Why? Because 3 minus 2, 1 and 3 minus 18, the longest distance was there. Na? So, 4 minus, this is what is 3 minus 2, what is the value? 1. So, 3 mi 18 minus 2, what is the value? 16. So, 1 is the closest to the 3 value. 2 is the closest to the 3 value. And next one? 3. 3 is the closest to 3 or closest to 18. 3 is the closest to 3. So, that is why I have to return k1, 2, 3, 4, 10. So, find out the m1 here. What is the m1 value here? 19 by 4. What is the value? 4.75 approximately. So, then we can probably we can write it about 5. Next one. Now, I can find out what? k2. So, how to find out the k2 here? That is, so, closest points I had to find out. What are the k2 points? 11, 12, 20, 25 and 30. So, this is the k2 nearest points. Based on this one, we can find out the mean value here. So, that is, we can calculate 19.6 approximately m2. Probably, we can write it that is 20 you can 20 what is the next one so the based on this the uh, points of uh, 5 this is the 3 and this is the 5 and this is the 18 and this is the 20 different points are getting if the what is our condition if the same points are getting we can stop this process next what is the next one k1 what is the k1 2 3 4 10 so, find out the nearest points of uh, 5 and 20. So, what is the nearest point of 5? Calculate this one. 2 is the nearest one. 3 is the nearest to 5. 4 is nearest to 5. And 10 is nearest to 5. Compared to 20. Not for the compared to 18. Compared to 20. Because this is the another M1, another M2. So, th this is the one step. And this is the another step. Okay. And next one, K1. What is the nearest point here? 4, 10. I can write it here. 12. So, these 6 points are the closest to 5. And coming to the, uh, find out the mean value here, m1 is equals to 7. And what is the k2 value here? The k2 value is 20, the remaining points we have to written here, 20, 25 and 30. What is the mean value here? m2 is equals to 25. Right. So, now, is there any same points are there? You can find out first. 20, what is the M1 value? 5 and 7. No, it is not uh, same values we are getting. And the next one is what? 25 and 20. So, different points we are getting. Next, repeat the process. So, what is the next point? K1. What is the K1 of 7? Nearest points, we have to find the nearest points of 7. That is 2, 3, 4, 10, 11 and 12. So, what is the M1 value of here? 7. What is the M1 value? 7. And next one, K2. What is the nearest point of K2? That is what? 25. What is the nearest points here? 20, 25 and 30. Now, M2 is equals to 25. See the previous one? So, this is the another step we have to return here and this is the another step we have to return. So, compared here, M1 7, M1 is 7. So, same m2 is 25 and m2 is 25 now the centroid until until the centroids do not change now the centroids is not changed the process is stop 
So this is K-means algorithm. How to implement the K-means algorithm? So various types of the steps we are taking and find out the mean values. And if the points of centroids is same, then we can stop the process.